Okay, starting off turn number six with Arjun. Now he's slowed, so he cannot get himself adjacent to that Cobalt Skirmisher and still be able to attack it. Because he's slowed, his movement has been reduced to two. So he can move twice, like he could go one, two, three, but that's not going to make him adjacent to the Cobalt Skirmisher. Or, I mean, it would make him adjacent to the Cobalt Skirmisher, but then he wouldn't be able to attack. Another, so another thing I can do is I can move twice. I can go one, two for my one movement, and then move again uh, a third time, or I could go like, you know, one, two, uh, or rather one, two, three, four, or I could go, I could go through Alyssa, I could go one, two, three, four, and that would get me down to an unexplored edge to allow me to explore, get another monster. Another th option I can do is I can move down to this tile so I can go like one, two, that'll be my entire movement. And then I can use Trapping Strike to pull the Cobalt Skirmisher next to me and attack it. But I think probably what I should do, because I think Alyssa can deal with that Cobalt Skirmisher, so I think what we'll do is we'll just have Arjun move twice. So he's going to go one, two three or you know however you want to count it one two three four or one two three four the point is he's going to get over to this unexplored edge using two movements a bit unfortunate that he doesn't get an attack but uh well i guess technically he can attack because he has this which does not count as an attack but that seems a bit wasteful um so yeah that's what we're going to do arjun um, did not need a token he moved he moved again, so he doesn't get treasure, but he will explore, and now his uh, slowed that he got again wore off, and I guess I just never wrote it down. So it's gone now. Yep. Okay, so that's gone. And so he's on an unexplored edge, so we'll draw a tile for him, and he gets uh, just a black triangle. It's a dead end. So we'll draw a monster. And it's going to be a zombie, which I think are the least of all the creatures in this game. Probably the zombies, because they have a relatively low AC, relatively low attack, and they only do one damage. So I think they're probably the, the least worst of all the monsters. Let's update for Arjun. So he drew a black tile, got a zombie. Again, that slow condition wore off. Uh, he will have to take an encounter. That spider is gone. And he is... The uh, zombie's under his activation. Okay, so let's draw an encounter. We can cancel it if we have to. Spider webs. Attack the active hero. So worst thing that happens is either... He becomes immobilized or slowed, so we'll go ahead and let that play out. Um, getting immobilized and slowed hurts, but, you know, spending our experience and taking one damage to cancel this doesn't seem worth it. So it's going to be a plus four. And, of course, we get the worst outcome, which is immobilization, so he can't move at all next turn. But, again, I think... That was, I think it's worth it. So he is now MO. And now the zombie will activate. And the zombie, if it's within a tile, it is. It moves adjacent to the closest hero, Rotting Fist. So again, monsters usually move bone pile to bone pile, but it has to be adjacent to Arjun. So it, so it, it has to make sense. You know, he can't just move to the bone pile and be like, oh, you're no longer adjacent. So it's going to be a Rotting Fist that's going to have a plus 5. And let's hope it misses because that the one thing about the zombie 
is it does one damage for each monster on the tile. So now there's two monsters on that tile, so let's really hope it misses. And that's a four, so that's going to be a miss. Four plus five is nine, and Arjun has an AC well above that, so we got lucky for once. And that is it for the zombie. So now we move into Alyssa's turn. And uh, let's see. We'll have her move over here. So she's adjacent, so she'll move uh, one two, three, and she has a movement speed of six, so that's easy. And then she's just going to ping the Cobalt Skirmisher to take it out. So it's gone. Goes into our experience pile. Cobalt Skirmisher comes off the table. And she will get a treasure card for that, but let's update before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Cobalt Skirmisher's gone. She didn't need this. She moved. She attacked. She gets treasure but we'll take the plus one HP instead. So that's gonna bring her up to four. And she will use her scout to explore the unexplored edge. And we got a white tile. So whenever a hero explores and draws a new dungeon tile with a white arrow here, she can discard a treasure to gain a new power. So I think this is useless, so I might regret throwing that away, but I doubt it. So we'll have her gain a new power instead. And she's going to gain Bounding Attack. Place your hero on a tile within one tile of you. Attack an adjacent monster. And yeah, I mean that, that certainly seems more useful than the uh, that treasure we got rid of. So she drew white tile, and there will be no encounter, but we do get a new monster, so let's see what monster she gets. Going to be a spider. That's the third time, so that's the last spider that can come out before we have to reshuffle. And that's going to go on the bone pile. So let's update for Alyssa. So spider, she has no conditions or blessings, no encounter. So the spider is going to activate. And we've seen it so many times, we should have it memorized by now. Basically, it's uh, one tile away, so it's going to use its, its acidic web. It's going to get a plus 11 on that tack, so it has to roll really low to miss. Like a 3. And it rolled a 9. 9 and 11 is 20. Obviously, that's going to hit. So when it hits, it pulls itself up using its web so that it becomes adjacent, and it's gonna slow Alyssa down and do one damage. So let's update for Alyssa. So she goes from four to three. She's slowed. And that's going to be the end of her villain phase and the end of turn number six.